Hey, my friends, Pastor Chad here. Uh, I want to say thank you for joining us and being with us. It's Wednesday, and uh, we are continuing on with our Port Nass devotional series. Um, I'm going to be switching gears in the next few weeks and going into a series that uh, I'm going to entitle Doors. Doors. You know, this is a unique double door that leads into somewhere. You don't know. You're not sure, probably sure where I'm at. I'm at the church. I'll tell you that. It's a hint. But these double doors lead into a room. But doors lead into something. And we don't always, always know what's on the other side of these doors. And I'm going to be speaking about this in our own life. How do we recognize what I would call divine opportunities? Or even what I usually say is, how do you recognize a divine appointment? where God is, is moving and showing up and doing things around us. How do we begin to recognize that so we can join him in where he's at and where God is working and be a part of God's kingdom in unique and special ways? Doors open and doors close. And sometimes we feel like, well, if a door closed, then that wasn't a divine opportunity or, or a divine appointment, or God must not have been involved because that door closed, but sometimes doors open and sometimes doors close and God is still involved in both of those. You gotta think about it, opportunities that have opened, doors have opened for people in the Old Testament, I was thinking about this morning, Abraham, like what, what if he didn't move his family into a whole new area? Would, would, would he have been this father Abraham of, of many nations? I have no idea how that would have played out or, or if Noah said no to the opportunity of building an ark in the middle of an area where there was no water to, to need a massive boat. Or Esther to speak to the king about something and these Israelites and being, being a spokesperson for a, a people that were being uh, persecuted and oppressed. You, you have all these ideas of these people who, who God gave opportunities to. And today I want to speak to as we move forward into the series, what is God starting to lead you into? What are opportunities that he's opening doors or closing doors to, to help you on your journey? And then I want to, on a side note, a commercial break, who are you sharing these opportunities with? Who are you uh, asking to be in accountability or, or talk to you or speak with you or, or just sharing what God might be having you pursue? Because I believe to be a part of the body of Christ is to share our lives, our story with each other. Because our story uh, ultimately is really a part of God's story. We, we are participants in God's story. God is not just a participant in ours. But we start looking it through and and I, I, I'll be honest, it's not always easy at the beginning to try to figure out what, what God is up to at times. It's not always easy. We don't always have that, that burning bush, right? That, that we're walking by. Moses is walking by and he has this burning bush and, and God begins to speak and says, take off your sandals for this is holy ground. We don't always get the burning bush. But I was once uh, asked by a, 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 an individual teacher that said, um, just imagine with me if, if, if back and forth in the desert, that bush uh, for Moses had been burning for years. What if, what if it had been calling to him and he just didn't recognize it? He didn't have the time. He was focused on his sheep or, or being a shepherd. He's focused on his, 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 his family or his, this is stuff in his life. He was, he was focused on the new Netflix series that he was watching. Whatever it might have been. What if, what if God had been reaching out for, to him for, for years and he just didn't see the bush burning? And I'm not saying that's the way it happened, but I, I think it's a good analogy in, in our own lives. Is there burning, burning bushes all around us and God is calling us to something new that we're just not opening our hearts and expecting God to, to move like that. And so we're not seeing the doors when they open or the opportunities when God presents them to us. Doors mean many things, right? Uh, safety. Uh, right now, I probably feel pretty secure. I'm in a, in a room that you don't know, but I'm in a room that <clears throat> I, I didn't lock it. It doesn't lock in this door on the inside. Uh, but I know at my house, every night, maybe you do the same thing. I walk around and I check my doors to see if they're locked. And then I get to lay down and I feel a bit more protected and safe. Uh, maybe you have an alarm and you set your alarm and you feel like, okay, I have protection. So, so doors can be protective. Uh, doors can also bring fear. What's on the other side? You ever gone into a spooky house or, or, or it, it, when I was younger, a youth pastor just new at this church, um, I was living very close to the old church and so I was the guy when the alarm went off, I had to go into the doors 
of a church and check all the rooms to see why the alarm was going off, which now looking back was a really stupid thing to do. Uh, what was I gonna do, you know, get out? Uh, I don't know, but, uh, but I remember going through those doors and it was spooky. Now it wasn't like a haunted house. Like you walk through those things, you go through the doors, you know something might happen and, and doors can also bring fear because we don't know what's on the other side. They can also bring rejection. Close the doors. Sadness, pain, the door, or opportunity that, that shut. Uh, maybe it's a health thing, maybe it's a relationship thing, and the door is shut, and that rejection hurts, or the pain that we cannot fix is closed, and we don't know what to do with that. Doors have all different kind of opportunities. Sometimes good, sometimes not so good, but doors lead to opportunities. What if I told you that uh, that God opens opportunities and doors in our lives all the time. Not just for the special or the, or the, 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 the elite. That God is opening doors for you. Are you looking? Are you paying attention? That God, God is calling us to the greatest adventure. To be a part of his kingdom and his kingdom work. And that adventure has to do with opportunities that God's going to present us. And, and, he, and God knows when, when we're ready or we're not ready or when we don't feel we're ready, but God is still going to push us like uh, a Moses who can speak well. But he also brought, brought it with Aaron, his, his brother. And they, they, they got to do this thing together. God has called us an adventure in his kingdom and, and, he's, and he's leading us to, to recognize. He, he wants us to learn about how to recognize these opportunities and these open doors. So first few, first few steps a day, and then we'll move on, and then we'll continue on later in the series. First step, begin to look and expect. So I'm gonna challenge you one day this week, wake up in the morning and say to yourself, God, or say to God, God, I am going to expect <clears throat> something today. I'm gonna be looking for those opportunities today. God, lead me today. So first step, look and expect. And the second thing, remind yourself that the open door, the opportunity is not just for you. God is not going to lead you somewhere just to bless you. Open doors and open opportunities in God's, uh, God's kingdom are always about others and growing his kingdom. And at times, they're not even going to benefit us. They're going to be a door and an open opportunity for us to, to bless someone else. And that's a hard thing to take sometimes. You don't always know what's on the other side of the door. But we begin to learn who the builder is. You begin to trust what's on the other side of the door. That takes time. Today, let's do that together. Let's this week expect, be looking out for those bushes, for those moments that God is uh, offering you opportunity to, to share life, to share kingdom life with God. God bless you today.